So, basically I'm going to be talking to you about linkages here, yeah? and this is like something used in like mechanics and stuff, yeah, in like machinery and in stuff at home as well, like bikes, yeah, so I'm going to show you this movie here, yeah? and it's going to be like awesome, innit? So basically, a linkage is like, it's like some piece of metal connected together, or other materials, and it like manages forces and movement so they can be made up of like chains and links and stuff and they're generally quite strong and they're used in everyday life so you'd Bad better know about uh master master yeah um can you tell me some types of linkages please uh, okay, alright then. So, there are four types, well, four main types of linkages, so here they are. In a reverse motion linkage, as the top rod moves to the left, the bottom rod moves to the right. Parallel motion linkage, uh, as the large rod out of the diagram moves to the left, the two small rods at the bottom move to the right. Crank and slider linkage, the rods move forward and backwards in the slider. So the fixed pivot, which is that red dot there, anchors the linkage to one place so it doesn't move about. The bell crank linkage, so this allows the horizontal movement to change into a vertical movement and also works the other way around. Vertical can change to horizontal. Uh, master? Yeah. Um, how are these things used? Uh. The crank and slider linkage is often found in steam engines, like this one shown here. The bell crank linkage can be used in the brake of a bike or other wheeled vehicles and stuff. Okay, thank you, Mark. <coughs> Oh yeah, and Zane, look of you.